Okay, so today we're going to do The Cure and A Night Like This. Now this song has been requested quite a bit. Uh, it's been one of the more requested songs and uh, I figured I finally, I gotta do it. So we're gonna do it and uh, I know some people want me to react to more uh, songs from their album Pornography and just their other material I've seen. Uh, material that I've seen. And uh, anyway, uh, this is from the head on the door, uh, but anyway, we're gonna get into this now because it's just it's been requested so much it seems so I want to fulfill the request so let's get into it see what's going on and yeah, let's go <clears throat> Got a sore throat Gradual like this by the cure now this song i gotta say this was a beautiful song i will say 
Um, that's the first word that comes to mind. Uh, again, with Robert Smith's vocals, like I said in this, during the song, I, I just love his voice so much. I just love his cadence. Uh, sounds so much different than any other artist I've really heard. And uh, it's not even a voice that he really, you know, he puts on. It's just his. It's just his singing voice. But it sounds like, sounds like it would be a voice that you're trying to do or something. I don't know, but it's just how he sings, and it's just great. But anyway, um, <laughs> I got to shout out because uh, I forgot the drummer here. Um, but uh, Boris Williams. No, I know. Uh, I like this. I liked the saxophone a lot. I like the little solo, the saxophone in there. Uh, by Ron Howe, so I gotta get him, him in there, and obviously, like I said, I love Robert Smith's vocals, love the guitar work between Pearl Thompson and Robert Smith, but Boris Williams here, I was, I won't say he was the pulse of the song, but again, as somebody who just likes, uh, drums, I guess, um, it's just, I don't know, his, just the powerful drumming, the heavy drumming throughout the, throughout the song, and I mean, it came in, uh, which kind of led to uh, Robert coming into the song after uh, he banged the drums, uh, I think it was one or three or four times or whatever, and then it led into Robert coming in. But uh, yeah, just Boris, I mean, what, and what a name, Boris. Uh, yeah, uh, not too many Borises around. But anyway, Boris Williams uh, liked his drumming a lot and uh, just loved, I mean, I don't know, I can't say much else. Uh, I just saw something over there. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I loved it a lot. And uh, again, with the saxophone, uh, I like how they gave it a, like a little solo there, and then it came in again, uh, basically during the outro. But uh, I mean, I, I don't know if I could say what I know that he's talking about here, uh, but <laughs> maybe it's something to do, I, I, I would guess, you know, with love, um, maybe wanting somebody. Uh, wanting to love somebody or something like that. But anyway, we're going to go through the lyrics anyway. But uh, yeah, my God, I just got to say, I can understand why people wanted me to hear this. Um, uh, I guess if it is an underrated track, I don't know how. But anyway, <laughs> it says with the first verse here, say goodbye on a night like this. If, uh, if it's the last thing we ever do, that reminds me of another song. If it's the last thing you ever do. Yep. You never looked as lost as this. Sometimes it doesn't even look like you. It goes dark. It goes darker still. And you know what that reminds me of? Because uh, in university, I had this uh, professor. And I think I've said before, but he only he likes like three mu musicians. And one of them is Leonard Cohen. And he would always, and before class, he would play You Want It Darker by Leonard Cohen. And, uh, yeah, so anytime I hear, you know, it goes darker or it goes dark, whatever, just the word darker in a song, I just think of that whole memory. And, uh, yeah, so I just had to say that. And uh, that's what I was thinking of at when he sang it at, during the song as well. But anyway, uh, so yeah, curse that teacher. Um, but as, uh, please stay, but I watch you like I'm made of stone. And I gotta be honest there, I thought of the stone roses. But anyway, as you walk away, uh, with the first course, I'm coming to find you if it takes me all night. So right here. Uh, I got a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of questions. Uh, you know, I'm coming to find you if it takes me all night. Uh, a witch hunt for another girl. Uh, I mean, I'd let Robert Smith come and find me, but I don't, I don't think he'd want to. For always and ever is always for you. That's quite the lyricism. For always and ever is always for you. My goodness. Your trust, the most, the most gorgeously stupid thing I ever cut in the world. <clears throat> so this whole verse here is uh, pretty wordy. I know this is the chorus, but it's pretty word wordy. And uh, just again, with uh, Smith's delivery, uh, you know, the most gorgeously stupid thing I ever cut in the world. It's just, I can't really imagine too many other singers singing that. And uh, yeah, it's just again, Robert Smith's vocals. Uh, but the second verse, say hello on a day like today. Say it every time you move. Uh, the way you look at me now makes me wish I was you. It goes deep, it goes deeper still, this touch and the smile and the shake of your head and the smile and the shake of your head. And now when he says, say it every time you move, I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with the song, but I thought the song was so freaking groovy. It was, uh, like I've said before, uh, songs can be a trip and <laughs> sometimes, uh, I mean, there's been some comments where, you know, they don't like when I call a song a trip, but I gotta say, this song was a little bit of a trip. And uh, I liked it a lot. Uh, and maybe not a trip, maybe a little bit of a roller coaster. But I mean, it wasn't too wasn't too out there, I guess. But uh, the saxophone coming in really shocked me a little bit. But anyway, uh, yeah. So the whole moving thing uh, it doesn't want to make you move. It was a danceable song. I mean, I can picture you know this came out in 1985. I can picture some folks in 1985. Or, uh, you know, just the 80s in general, uh, you know, at a dance, whatever, at a high school party, 
singing and dancing to the song. It's just, I mean, it's, I guess that's pretty much what the Cure music is. And I mean, they don't have to be emo kids or anything like that. I mean, and the Cure is expendable. So anyway, uh, with uh, the next part here, I'm coming to find you if it takes me all night. Can't stand uh, can't stand here like this anymore. For always and ever is always for you. So there's a line again. I want it to be perfect like before. So he's wishing for some stuff here that happened in the past. Oh, ho, ho. I want to change it all. Oh, ho, ho. I want to change. Uh, uh, and then again, I'm coming to find you if it takes all night. Can't stand here anymore. And then at the end of it, oh, ho, ho. I want to change it all. I want to change. I want to change it all. I want to change. So I guess I should have wrote. I wrote. I should have read the about before all that. But anyway, uh, so after all that, I'm kind of still, uh, you know, murky on who he's trying to address here. But A Night Like This was a third and final single from The Head on the Door. But its origins reach all the way back to 1976 when the band performed it at their second gig while still named Malice. Okay, so that's something I didn't know. The original song soon morphed into what became Plastic Passion. However, years later, A Night Like This was re revived and updated for this album. Unlike the previous two singles, which each charted in at least six countries, this one did not. So, uh, yeah, so there's a part there where it's like saying this isn't a very underrated track, because obviously, uh, as I said here, just that for one example, it did not chart. Uh, it was included on the CD releases of the 1986 singles collection, uh, starring or staring at the sea, but not on the vinyl and cassette editions, which were titled Standing on the Beach. Uh, so yeah, uh, again, doesn't say much about there about the song, but I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, the whole line that really sticks out to me is the whole, the most gorgeously stupid thing I ever cut in the world. Uh, it's like, I mean, I guess it might be going through a breakup here. Uh, it could be a breakup a little bit. Um, you know, wanting a person back, you know, wanting something back anyway. Uh, and I mean, even, uh, I mean, there is some comments here, I guess I could say, I mean, I like to, you know, delve in a little bit. So here's what some other people are saying. Uh, so I, Somebody said, I think it could be about trying to correct someone who you love, not necessarily a girlfriend or a boyfriend or just a love, a love or whatever. Uh, but because you know she or he has done bad things and that those actions will end your relationship with this person. When he says, I'm coming to take or I'm coming to find you if it takes me all night, he or she means that she or he will find a way to recover or at least to make the other person understand that what they are doing is totally wrong and bad. Uh, also when he says the way you look at me makes me wish I was you. And I mean, that lyric really speaks to me as well. I mean, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, not, not really, you know, maybe not depressing, but I mean, wishing you weren't yourself, you were wishing you were them. Uh, it means that the person who was doing the bad thing somehow is suffering. And that means you, you, or the good person wishes he or she could feel the pain. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the whole song here, I mean, it's just, I mean, the cure on a plate, it's just Robert Smith being kind of vulnerable, I would say, and uh, just very 80s, I would say as well. And uh, I mean, yeah, the saxophone, I mean, I guess whenever I hear a saxophone, I just think of uh, George Michael, obviously, with uh, Careless Whisper. And uh, I mean, these, both these songs came out around the same time, I guess you could say, with a care, Careless Whisper in A Night Like This. But again, night, A Night Like This was had its origins in 76. But anyway, I guess that's about it. I, I guess that's all I can say. Uh, this song was a great song. It was a great song. And uh, I feel like I'm, I feel like that's kind of dull to say, but I liked all the elements of it. Uh, again, love Boris on the drums. God dang, I like Boris. And uh, again, Robert Smith on vocals. Love the guitar work uh, and how it kind of, I mean, there's a repetition in there of what uh, either it was either Smith or uh, the other guitarist that I can't remember his name now, but uh, it was just, I mean, just all the elements in here to make a cool song. And uh, Pearl Thompson, both on keyboards and guitar. So my goodness. And Lowell Tolhurst on keyboards as well. Uh, and Simon Gallup on bass guitar. I like the bass as well. I mean, I just, again, I just like every element of the song. And uh, there's not much to complain about, if anything at all. So anyway, I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting. Really appreciate all the support. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Uh, so yeah, thanks for the request. Again, I uh, always love to hear The Cure. They've become one of my favorite bands since I started the channel. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks again. I'll see you guys soon.